Strange and mysterious sights and sounds are emanating this year at Lou Gardens. For the first time ever, the City of Orlando, Lou Gardens, and the Creative City Project present Happy Frights and Haunting Nights, presented by Massey Services. Early in the evenings on select nights in September and October, Lou Gardens becomes a family-friendly trick-or-treating adventure through 12 immersive worlds. But at night, the gardens transform into something far more sinister. I'll give you a sneak peek at the first ever Happy Frights and Haunting Nights at Lou Gardens, coming up next. My 407 original brand apparel celebrates Orlando's famous area code, allowing you to say you love Orlando without saying you love Orlando. Because you and I, we get it. Shop theorlandoguy.com. From downtown Orlando, Harry P. Lou Gardens is just 10 minutes northeast and nestled on the shore of Lake Rowena. Your journey begins at the Fall Festival Arena, where both Happy Frights and Haunting Nights provides a great backdrop for pictures before entering the gardens. During Happy Frights, keep an eye out for a troll who rules the bridge into the garden. But really, to the kids, he's just a friendly troll who likes to show you his good side. But beware, during Haunting Nights, there are other creatures lurking in the shadows. Creatures waiting and watching. Haunting Nights at Lou Gardens is a place where the blooms of the day give way to the mysteries of the night, where every rustling leaf and flickering light holds secrets waiting to be uncovered. You never know who or what might be watching you from the shadows. Frights and Haunting Nights at Lou Gardens is filled with Instagram-ready backdrops. Perhaps none more than Jack-O-Lantern Jaunt, a long tunnel that beckons you to see what's on the other side. the most fun you'll have at Happy Frights at Lou Gardens is making your way through Ned's Neon Labyrinth, a dizzying maze of psychedelic color. But during haunting nights, beware of the frightening creatures you might find within. Make it out alive and meet Ned, him, or itself to celebrate. The staff at Lou Gardens created another picturesque spot by growing a real sunflower field perfect for taking a break to celebrate autumn. Frights and Haunting Nights at Lou Gardens is a thrilling fusion of nature's beauty and the supernatural, where you'll encounter specters, spirits, and surprises at every turn.
Prepare to be bewitched, bedazzled, and just a little bit spooked at Magic and Mayhem with Terry Ward. Sit and enjoy a magic show running all throughout Happy Frights and Haunting Nights. aren't just for the young. Enter the Dragon's Nest and experience mystical lore and lifelike creatures that inhabit a forgotten time. Just a short walk away, you find yourself amidst an old pirate barracks. But something isn't right. It's not quite as abandoned as it looks. For happy frights, a pirate witch greets you. But watch out. For haunting nights, Captain Gruffbeard may want to take you to Davy Jones's locker. Having survived dragons, witches, ghosts, and pirates, the mood at Happy Frights and Haunting Nights turns decidedly festive as sea creatures play with your young ones in a bubble block party. Nearing the end of our journey through Happy Frights and Haunting Nights, Scarecrow Summit provides the perfect backdrop for some last minute photos. Finally, we reach El Dia de Muertos, where a festival and memorial for those who have passed on before us allows us to bid farewell to La Catrina, the host of the evening's festivities. Thanks for coming along with me to experience happy frights and haunting nights at Lou Gardens. I hope you'll take time to visit this wonderful inaugural event the next time you visit Orlando.